Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, hi, my name is Eric and I stream almost every day. So if you want to watch me live on Twitch, join my very nice Discord community or follow me on any other social media, that's going to all be down in the description. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a full commentary on Kiana. I'm currently right now, I think like uh, number five Kiana NA, something like that. So one of the best Kianas in NA, according to those random websites that literally don't matter, but people care about for some reason. But anyways, I hope you guys had an amazing day. I've really missed you guys. I've tried to record probably like, I'm not even joking, like 10 videos now, but I'm really critical with what I put on YouTube these days to the point where it's kind of bad, but whatever. Um, hopefully we have a good game today and hopefully I can teach you guys something uh, on how to play Kiana. We're actually playing against the best Zed, I think as well. I know Laceration, LL Silish, they're both considered really good. And hopefully, yeah, we're gonna be able to win our lane and I can give you guys some tips on how to play Kiana. So we are against Zed in Italy and we are playing Kiana with Atalia as our jungler. Um, basically, uh, uh, Kiana is a very weak champion before level 3, so we, what we want to do with our early wave is we want to let it push towards us and we want to just get level safely. So we're not going to auto attack the wave at all, we're just going to let it push towards us and we're going to get level 3 safely. That is our first goal in lane as Kiana, and that's pretty much uh, the same in every matchup as Kiana, so you don't really change that too much. So Zed's hard shoving into me, which is interesting. What that tells me is that Nidalee potentially might be looking to roam or invade uh, the Talia. So I'm going to start pushing it back in a little bit just because he's pushing it like really quickly into me. Although we do still want it to push towards us. Okay, I'm just looking for to get CS when I can and to try to not get hit by uh, the shurikens even though I've gotten already hit by a few. Okay, so the wave actually already crashed under my turret. It actually seems to me like Zed's going for a ward or something. That one I think is just doomed. Yeah, so we can assume that Zed warded somewhere over here. So we're going to ping that. And I believe that their Nidalee started red buff. Not 100% sure on that, but I believe that she did. Okay, we dodged his uh, clone combo. Whenever you play against Zed, that's basically like what the lane boils down to. If you could dodge that shadow combo, you are in a good spot. And if you cannot dodge it, well, rip you. So really focus on dodging his shurikens and especially the shadow shuriken combo. That is what is the most important in playing against Zed. Cool, my bot lane got a kill. You love to see it. Me getting hit by all the shurikens. But it's fine, it doesn't do that much damage if it passes through all those minions. We can actually even look to kill Zed here with uh, Talia. If I get level 3, ooh, this could be really good. So I think Talia is going to actually come mid soon now. We're going to get level 3. Yeah, now Talia can actually come and potentially kill Zed. Oh, he also wasted his clone. Okay, now. Ah, remember, it was warded. We pinged it earlier, so he knew. He had a heads up. We're going to go like this. Try to get all the CS. Uh, I don't know where Zed is right now. He could be recalling. Nope, he's not recalling. Although if he was, I don't know what he'd buy with the amount of gold that he has. Just like another long sword, I guess. Yeah, the Zed's playing very, uh, very weird. Like weirdly aggressive. Like I'm not used to Zed's playing this aggressive, this uh, level, but here we are. Don't really know where Nidalee is, but I'm going to assume that she's over in top side now because uh, Talia's on the bottom crab, which means that Nidalee is probably mirroring and doing the top crab. So in that case, we're going to um, we're going to hug our bot side, which is the side that our jungler is on and we have better vision of. Okay, we got Talia. Oh. oh hopefully he's just dead here to the auto attacks now. He should be. All right. A little scary, but it worked out in the end. Uh, we had Talia and we even had Alistar who's using the new skin come along and we were able to secure that kill on Zed and he doesn't have flash now because he tried to turn it on me and I ran away. So we're going to recall and we're going to get our serrated dirt for my mythic item. I'm actually going to be going for Eclipse. I think Eclipse is Kiana's best, or best, I can't talk, mythic item. Uh, if you're a Kiana main and you think otherwise, like please let me know in the comments. I know a lot of Kianas like to go different mythics. I know some like Duskblade, some like uh, Prowler's Call. I know Midbeast made a video on Prowler's Call Kiana and the best Chinese Kiana doing that. But for me personally, I just feel like Eclipse is the most consistent. It gives you like the most utility and damage and just the mythic passage nice. I just like it the most. So I go Eclipse uh, every game. And you always want to be getting uh, the blue enchantment when you want to pressure like an all-in. So whenever you want to pressure something, you want to go for the blue enchantment. Just because it gives your all-in potential that uh, stun, which lets you land the rest of your abilities. Okay, quick little trade with him. I should have landed that, but it's fine. Going for this yes, you two. Okay, 
And it looks like we have Alistar maybe coming. A big part about playing Kiana is uh, knowing like when you can get ganked by your team. Like she's very good at setting up ganks. That's probably like the best thing she is. Okay, we got Alistar coming in. Let's see if I could bait out his clones. If I could bait out his clones, then for sure we can do it. Oh. Uh, I wasn't in range. Close, close, close. If I was able to bait out that clone and then Alistar would do that, he would be dead. But either way, it's okay. We're gonna just go for the wave through here. Kill all those minions. And I think what I'm gonna do right now that I hit level six and I have my ignite up, is we're gonna go jungle hunting, which means we're gonna go look for Nidalee in her jungle. And if we find her in the jungle, well, we're gonna do like this. That is exactly what we are gonna do to Nidalee if we find her in the jungle. Uh, Kiana is amazing at killing uh, the enemy jungler. So do that a lot when you're Kiana and you have a priority in your lane, which means that your waves pushed into their turret and you can kind of just roam around. So instead of looking for a roam on like a lane, look for the enemy jungler. Cause if you have your ult and your ignite and you know, your abilities and items, you can definitely get some kills like that. And that helps your team even more, believe it or not, than it would a lane kill. So Zed's flash timer is actually the same as mine. Because remember, we flashed at the same time, so we want to keep that in mind. Although ours is on a slightly lower cooldown because we have Cosmic Insight. For my runes, I'm just going Electrocute. Uh, oh wait, hold up, you might try to all me here. Yeah, okay, we outplay him. <laughs> we dodge everything, cool. Uh, it was a good opportunity for him to go in, but we were just too good, too clean. Yeah, so I'm going Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collector, Ravenous Hunter, Biscuit Delivery, and Cosmic Insight. You might be wondering why I don't go... Um, What's that thing he called? Why I don't go refillable or corrupting pot on Kiana. I don't think corrupting pot's good on her. I think that um, she really likes that early game damage by starting, like, you know, longsword. So I would not recommend going time warp tonic and that item that I cannot remember the name of. Corrupting potion. Would not do that. Rip my cannon, but I think I got the EXP for it, which is good. And my ult's up in 22 seconds. So we have our ult near Knight up. It's really hard for me to just straight up kill Zed in this lane. He has so much ability, it's kind of scary too that he might kill me. Uh, it's better if I just go for kills on like Nidalee, let's say. Or bot lane. So now that I have my wave pushed in, I'm actually going to look to roam over to the bot lane here. See if we can maybe pick something up. Uh, okay, we have Senna right here, by the way. Oh, this could actually just be a kill. Yep, easy kill, Sun or Seraphine. I don't know why she ran that way, but she did. Uh, easy clap, though. We got her. Pinned her up against the wall. And a lot of people ask me, like, Eric, when do you think it's a good time to roam? Or, like, when do you roam and stuff like that? I think that it's the best time to roam when your wave is pushed under the turret and you're not afraid of the enemy jungler. So because right there, my wave was pushed into his turret and I'm really not afraid of Nidalee. Like, if I found her, like, I'd like that. I'll just kill her, too. Um, it's good for me to roam. I'm not going to recall yet though, because I'm pretty close to my Eclipse. Instead, we're just going to wait in lane, pick up some CS. And he should be pushing the wave into me, because he thinks I recalled it. Our 5,000 IQ big brain play. Yeah, he thinks I recalled here, but I did not. So, yeah, he just wants the turret play it. Time. I just want the minions. Okay, now we'll recall, because now we can finish our Eclipse. Okay, we're gonna get out of here, finish this, and then run back into lane. A good thing to get into the habit of two and playing Kiana is when uh, running back into lane, you wanna mash your W off cooldown just to get that little extra dash every, like, you know, however many seconds it is, it does kind of uh, make a difference. Okay, well, we have the, the, <laughs> the bushwhacking MF on our team. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, I think she got him. Oh, you hate to see it. Or we love to see it, but you hate to see it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, well, that's funny. Zed's on his way bot lane. They need to be careful. We're going to ping that. Oh, no, Tzli. I hope you don't die to him. Mm, I don't know if they're losing this or not. Okay, no. They're winning it. Cool. Okay, so now we also, again, we have lane priority. Except right now, we know that Nidalee is kind of bot lane. We can't really kill her. Aatrox. Uh, it's probably not worth me roaming up there, but I can stay mid lane and I can get my turret plate. So I've decided instead of roaming or getting vision, we're just going to stay mid and get that turret plate. My enemies try their best. That is what is so sad. Just going to try to wave through here as fast as I can. I 
Okay, and now I'm gonna look potentially to get Nidalee. I think Nidalee's actually gonna go to her top side now. I think that she might have recalled and is like over here. I'm a little... I smell her. Oh, I have smelled correctly. And Nidalee is now dead. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I knew that she was over there because uh, she was bot side beforehand, and I think that she just recalled and then she went over there. So I knew her top side was up. So you see guys, good uh, map awareness and good just like guessing skills are really what make the difference in playing Kiana and uh, especially when killing the enemy jungler. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna recall soon but not yet. For my boots, I don't like to go Moby boots. I don't think Moby boots are very good on Kiana. I think that it's much better if you just go at defensive boots. So I think I'm just gonna go tabbies. I might go in on Zed here though. Okay, easy kill on Zed. Yeah, uh, a good thing to do with Kiana as well that I did right there is you want to use your E to get in range of your Q. Uh, and not just on the, the enemy champion. So if you saw right there how I engaged on him was I used my E on a minion, actually. And then I Q it, and then my Q was able to hit him with the AoE. And then I was able to get on top of him. So definitely use your E on minions. Like, let's say like he was over here right now and I wanted to go in. I would E this minion and then quickly Q onto him, right? So look for those types of plays too, especially when you're ahead and you just want to go for quick trades. And with Eclipse, you can go for the, the two-hit passive trades that are really big. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get our uh, boots, and then I'm going to go and get a refillable potion. And we're going to run back to our lane now. This is going pretty well. <laughs> is that mad? <laughs> I guess. I mean, I get it. He did get ganked a lot this game, but at the same time, he kind of messed up a few times. Okay, so Zed no flash, same time raise me again. Ooh, rip that. Rip that minion. Okay, my ult's not up for nine seconds. I want to keep that in mind. Let's see if there's a pink word. Oh, someone put this pink here. I might be able to kill him here. Close. Hmm, let's see what I can do. Alright, that was scary, not gonna lie. <laughs> he played that really well. He played that really, really, really well. He dodged my ult. He, like, came me with the thingy. Guys, I should have died there. Let's be honest. Oh, I want the terror plates. Please. I'm gonna get in range of these plates so I can get it. Yes, my monies, my monies. But, yeah, he played that really well. And of course, again, big thank you guys always for like watching my videos. I love doing these types of videos and it takes, they're actually really hard to make. Um, I've, you've, if you've noticed, I put like a lot of edited videos out there recently, which I like doing too, because I like like having different types of content, because I know not everyone can sit here and watch like 20 minutes of a game, um, or sometimes longer. But these videos are usually my favorite to make just because they feel like the most me, I guess. Like I started my channel on these videos and like, I don't know, it just feels like it's like me, you know? So I like doing these. Uh, I definitely want to like keep doing these even if I do like a lot of edited content too. Like this is like my main content I would say, at least for now. So don't think that I'm just like quitting doing these altogether because I'm not. Uh, okay, so it looks like they were looking for something over there. Their team comp is a little scary though. Eh, only Seraphine. Seraphine and Senna are scary, but they're really behind this game. Oh, well, Aatrox is there, what the? Ooh, I might be dead here, guys. We might be showing the death animation. We are indeed showing the death animation. Holy moly, I didn't expect their whole entire team to be there. My bad. Uh, 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 uh. No excuses. I entered. Yeah, I really didn't expect five people to be right there. Maybe it was like my map awareness literally just not existing. Um, and maybe we saw them already falling, but yeah, I didn't think they were all gonna be there. Either way, it's we're still fine. Like that's trolling of them. Like we're getting top turret. Wukong's gonna be a monster. He's two levels up already. Like we're fine. I'm still a level up. All is fine in the world. Okay. And don't sell your pink words at home. But, 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 I wanted the damage. <laughs> And if you notice, I swapped over to Red Trinket too. I think Red Trinket is really important that you swap into on Kiana pretty early on into the game. 
Um, because Kian is a champion that relies so heavily on flanking, you want to make sure that you don't or you aren't on vision. Uh, something that I or it's actually something I forget to do on Kiana a lot that I need to start doing more. Ooh, I'm on my way. I'm gonna go for her though. She's easy kill for me. And we do have Talia here too. Yeah, we should just win this now pretty hard. Alright, Seraphine, where are you running? Oh, Seraphine, where are you running? Drop the wall, actually it's fine. Alright, she's just dead. Cool. My ult's on up for a while though. I could be running into someone, which would kind of suck. Okay, well the only person I could be running into now is Nidalee, because Zed just died. And if I run into Nidalee, well, let's just say Nidalee hopes she doesn't run into me. For like the fourth time in this game. Okay, nope. Nidalee's actually in her top side right now because we didn't find her in the bot side. So let's go pay her a visit. <laughs> let's go pay her a visit, why don't we? Oh, Nidalee. Nidalee, where are you? Oh, she's not here. She's not here. She's not here. Okay, we're using our sweeper. Oh, there she is. She's been spotted, guys. <laughs> Target locked. Okay, there's Nidalee. Oh, and they surrendered. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I mean, basically from that point forward, it would have just been us like killing them over and over again and winning. But I think we played early game well, and I think that, um, you know, it was still maybe a good thing and you learned some tips on Kiana. I hope you did. And if you want to make, or if you want me to make like another video on Kiana or you want to see another champion, I'm considering my next video being uh, maybe on Nico. I know Nico has been like more flavor of the month and I think I'm pretty good at her. So I'm thinking about doing another Nico video. So let me see the, uh, the damage graph. Yeah, we did the most damage in the game. So pretty good game. Uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave me a thumbs up and a comment because I read them all. And I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye, guys.